Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And last time was a very productive episode. We explored a new territory uh, on the overworld, and we went all the way through the King's Barrow, fought a whole bunch of new enemies, fought a boss, got the Red Orb. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I just want to take this uh, vehicle, this ride armor, this exoskeleton, and just see if there's anywhere else we can reach with it that we couldn't have before. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to expect of this from the uh, from this game. But I know something. Oh gosh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of little devils. I gotta take out that healer. Then I'll see about uh, using Sizz on the Devils. I have to heal up Jace, too. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, there, there we go. There's Sizz. That'll help. But those are examples when... the offensive magic can still be useful is when it hits groups or hits all enemies. Another one bites nice. Oh, Eric got a level up out of that. So yeah, I just want to make sure that there's cuz I don't know what to expect. I don't know if, you know, you can take the uh exoskeleton. Oh. A new pep power, Scorched Earth. Huh. We're going to have to use that. Uh, before the end of this episode, I promise you guys, we will use that. Yeah, that's a post-commentary spoiler, but uh, it's going to happen sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if they're going to give you a vehicle and then... Or a monster ride armor thing. I'm just going to call them ride armors. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to give you one of these, and then you have to backtrack, like, a long ways to find, like, an additional spot you can use it in. So, like I said, I really don't know what to expect with these, so that's why I'm just going to take this right armor wherever I can take it. And just see if we can find anything else. If we can't, that's okay, but uh, at some point in time... I would expect that to be the case. I wonder, can we, like, get on top of this statue? I don't think it would be productive at all, but it'd be cool. Okay, well, the other place I want to check out is that spot where we could go outside earlier and we climbed up those uh, things. We'll just, we'll just bounce our way up there. One thing you cannot do while you're in these ride armors, and this is the same thing with the horse as well, is we can't do the, you know, preemptive slash and deal damage to them before the battle even starts. I mean, that's a way to balance it out so you're not always riding the ride armor, because otherwise there would be no disadvantage to the thing. You just have increased mobility. Ha! Huh. Easy! So with that and with that said, well, we can't get up there. We can't climb it while right. Okay, fair enough. Well, that answers that question. So, no, we can't get anything else with the exoskeleton. So now, with that, we are completely done with the King's Barrow. If I had remembered that I have the evac spell, which takes like zero MP, I'm pretty sure, I could have just used that. You know, that would be useful to remember that I have it. And I'm thinking about, you know, where I'm at in the gameplay. So, uh... Yeah, this is, that's one advantage with post-commentary. Sometimes I might see things in these gameplay videos that I didn't see, like, when I was actually holding the controller and recording this gameplay. And then it's like, hey, I need to go back and check this out. 
So, yeah, that's, uh... That can be a thing. Actually, it did happen in my Final Fantasy X Let's Play with uh, Mount Gagazet. There was a there was a treasure that I completely did not see until I was doing the post commentary and watching the video. It blended in fairly well. All right, now where we need to go is yeah, I guess the door of departure. Oh, we have a crab enemy. A crabid. Eh, he looks pretty crabby to me. And I was a little bit worried because the crabs tend to have oh, higher defense some. in the <laughs> Dragon Quest games, and I'm like, I might have to pull out some magic for that. No, no, just a couple basic attacks, and we're good to go. Alright, what else is there? There could be something on the other side of that rock. Oh, we can't jump on it. Yeah, that's disappointing. Oh, hey, another new enemy. A group of calamari kids. Uh, we will try cooking them. What in the world are you doing? Okay, cook them. Actually, calamari is like the one type of seafood that I've had that I that I don't like. Uh, there's one other type that I haven't tried that I don't think I would enjoy, though. Another one but I, I love seafood. I love fish. I love clams. I love shrimp. Lobster. Yeah, I, I, I am a big seafood fan. Just talking about all this seafood is making me hungry. I also, recording this commentary, I have not had dinner yet. So I'm doing that, you know, right after this part. So let's sit at a campsite where there's a big pot of soup or stew or something over an open flame. Our fun size forge is sparkling. It leveled up. New crafting abilities. My maximum focus increases. Maybe focus is like just a... I'm guessing here. Maybe it's just a luck-based chance to do that, you know, special... Hey, let's just hit the thing once and take that bar to the perfect pinpoint golden happy spot. Feathered cap, it's... We can make those. Yeah, why not? We have tan hide, we have a feather. Let's do this. I'm not sure that this would necessarily be the process for making a hat. Especially one that's not made of metal. Yeah, we'll just hit everything until it's in the green range. And this thing one more time, there we go. And we're good. Uh, remind me to equip these viewers. Oh, we got two perfectionist pearls for that. Clothes. Yeah, we can make the Templars uniform, but it... No, we're not going to make one for Jace. We'll actually be getting some pretty hefty defensive upgrades for Jace uh, soon enough. I'm not spoiling what it is, it's... I'm just, uh... Oh, cool. Oh, we got those two at gold levels. Yeah, there's the gold happy spots. I think we just got that by, you know, sheer luck. Oh, why didn't that make the gold happy spot? Whatever. Uh, so we'll finish this. So this might actually be a feathered cap plus two. I'll give the plus two to Eric and the plus one to Jace. Yeah, perfection. Oh gosh, it's plus three. 
That's even better. Alright, uh, do you have anything to say? Eh, not really. Okay, so yeah, before I go forgetting... Oh, look at all that. Yes! Yes! Yeah, Eric's gonna get the plus three because he's weaker on the defensive side. He can't use shields, and he can't use the heavy armor that Jace is wearing. Oh, and we have the salesman here. Oh, he's now selling Templar's uniforms. Okay. And there's, oh, he has some crafting materials too. But I think we're good. Alright, so yeah, we're going to drop a save. Because as you can see, it's been a little while since we've done that. And yeah, we're going to continue on. So next, we'll just we'll just rest up here. And then we will... Yeah, we'll just... We'll break at dawn. Dawn is a good time to get going. You know, I haven't seen so far where the time of day really makes a huge difference. Other than, like, maybe a couple monsters will be out at night that aren't out during the day. But other than that, I haven't seen any, like, real significance to it. Not like... And that's true of the towns as well. Not like uh, Dragon Quest Three, where the towns can, like, completely change overnight. Or there's some places where... You know, there's a shop in a town that is only open at night. Alright, well, let's explore this section of stuff. Oh, and that little, uh... Yeah, that little dock with the thing. Yeah, we'll fight this dude. I don't like the way he's looking at me. I like how he was, like, <laughs> hiding behind his, uh... Looking through his, uh pinchers there, that one on the right. Well, we'll hit them with magic attacks. Well, that did do significantly better than our physical attacks. But again, it was still like 50% better than our physical attacks, and again, that's just because their defense was a bit higher. I want to like magic attacks in this game. I really do. But I just have a hard time, a hard time liking them. I have a hard time justifying their efficiency. Although that was a good example of, of the magic being efficient and powerful. I don't know. I guess what I expect from, like, say, a black mage type of class is that their spell can one-shot a monster from full health if it's weak to that element. And I don't get enough of that in the Dragon Quest games from the attack magic. I, I just don't. Especially when we get later on in the game. It's like, yeah, you used your mage to soften him up, but if you had a physical attacker there instead, that physical attacker would soften up the monster just as much. Maybe not in the sense of you know, hitting groups of enemies, which I guess that can be a niche for the Black Mages, but then again, boomerangs and whiffs also exist. If I ever wanted to have a character focus on that. I wonder, if I go dual wielding with Eric, could I dual wield... Can I only dual wield knives and swords, or could I dual wield, like, boomerangs and, like, like wants, uh... or mix and match? Dual wield a knife and a boomerang, and then use, 
skills from both. That would be really interesting. Now this, this whole section, look at this section on our map. It looks like there should be something up here, right? Especially the way that we had to enter into this place. It's like, there's got to be something. The real question is, how much time are we going to waste trying to find it? Okay, fine. We'll go this way around, and that's what the game wants. And we can do that. Although, I'm not... Is th that rock looks weird. Can we, like, blow it up? Is that going to become, like, a shortcut later on to some other place? I don't know. These are all just questions going through my mind, and, you know large falls off of uh, rocky cliffs. They don't hurt us at all or impede our movement. So yeah, I'm just going to try and get a another look at this thing from the distance, see if I can see anything. But past gameplay me is convinced that there is something up there, or there is some supposed to be something up there, and I'm not finding it, and I'm failing to find it. So let's take another trip up there. Because we haven't wasted enough time yet. Yeah, the, the last video was the productive one. This one is just going to be uh, climbing this hillside. No, it's 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 more productive. We had a couple new enemies. We learned a new a new thing, uh, a new pep up power. This particular section, though, is is not okay. It is not going to be productive. We're not finding anything. So we're just going to... I'm going to try jumping down again. Maybe I'll happen to land on something. No, no. Well, I did land on something, but it's not productive. I'm not getting anything for this, so... If I did miss something, like, really huge there, I'm sure someone is going to let me know in the comment section. Because that's how LPs work, you know? You're supposed to comment on all the screw-ups that, uh... The LP that oh, haha! -ha. I, I really shouldn't be going haha -ha because this is you know the path of progress and we would have had to do this anyways. And at first I thought I found like some secret side path and I'm like yes all this exploration was worth no no we had to find this anyways. And I'm also coming to realize that these like little narrow passages that uh, link between two uh, large open fields don't really contain anything. They're just a small passage to uh, large open fields. And that doesn't sound good. That doesn't look good. It's Hendrik. And they're riding horses. Did you really think you would escape me, Dark Spawn? Well, that's what we were kind of hoping. Damn it! They found us. Quick, put your hoods up as a disguise. And okay, yeah, there's two there. horses. Come on. Feel like that. Okay, this entire cutscene is going to be completely unrealistic. Let's count the rays. So these wild horses that we don't know just let us climb on them. They have, you know, saddles and stuff. I, I don't believe. One of them even had that in the cutscene we saw there. Uh, the amount of time it took us to run that distance while those guys had already come down. You know, they should have already caught up to us. And now Eric is going back. So we have two groups of horses going, converging at the, the same as each other. There is no way that this should work with the uh, distance that Eric had to travel there. Um... They were able to hit the one horse from that far off, but suddenly they quick, can't quick, hit the other the one. They should have already caught us by now. Uh, but we have the keystone. Now uh, there's what we need to get. It's not the key to my heart, but it is the key you to this door. Me, why did you even put that thing away? Why are you killing the poor horses? Why can't you just shoot them in the back if your aim is that good? And look, they're still that far off in the distance. I 
I'm not buying this. And we're, but we we teleported. But it wasn't a televator. Ha! And now I've referenced the uh, Metroid games that I've played. Ha! You think you have won? The game has not even begun. What do you mean by that? Well, what he means by that is. Oh, no, they're not showing it yet. Okay, it must be after this little scene. Oh. Whew. We made it. That was too close. That was too unrealistic. So, uh, I realize we're man, playing exactly a game that's, we... you know, completely fantasy and this, this isn't even, like, all. realistic graphics. It's, it's like cartoony anime graphics. I'm cool with that, but, uh... I, st I do expect some degree of logical consistency. Oh, uh, you shall not escape me. Well, we did. So, take that. Oh, we got achievement for getting it. I guess they're called accolades. Uh, we have a completely new region to explore. Awesome. The Hato region. Hato Step region. And we are actually... Weren't we, like, somewhere in the middle-ish of the map? Middle-lower of that huge area? And now we're, like, far to the southeast of that. Interesting. And that world map looks very intimidating, in my opinion. But these maps, these individual maps that we can go about, they're they're fine. I'm I'm fine with the size of these maps. Uh, we have a priest person we can uh, save here. Okay, now there should be, or is there? I'm thinking of a certain scene. I remember seeing the scene. I'm not fantasizing this, I promise. But it's the scene that we should be getting... I thought we'd be getting it within this video? I don't think it's in the next video. Oh, we can buy things. I... you don't have anything that I want to buy. We have new enemies. Well, we can do that. That'll be productive. Uh, this is a she-slime. They're like an orangish color slime. Uh, they pretty much function the same as the basic slimes, just, you know, higher stats. Really, are you dead intimidated or something? Yeah, okay. Uh, so we're, bites the duck. I'm used to seeing the next slime being like the magic slime, the red slime. But that's not what the she slime is. I I don't believe that the she slime, that the mage slimes became the she slimes. I I get the feeling they just kind of did away with that. Okay, we somehow hit the thing with. You know, we've had enough logical inconsistencies in this. This is a Garuda. Now we're gonna go Super Saiyan to deal with this. Very well. Uh, oh, I did promise. I promised we were going to use a new pep-up power. Uh, Eric's new pep-up power. And I thought I could call on it with uh, Jace there, but you can't. The way you use this one is Eric has to be pepped up. The heck? I'm not even going to ask what was going on here. Shall I call that a glitch? Can I call that a glitch? What's a late-night mega LP without glitch? You know? Okay, I'm not going to... Okay, pep-up power. Uh, scorched Earth, so Magical Circle makes enemies more vulnerable to fire and earth attacks. That doesn't sound too impressive. It doesn't sound too impressive, but uh, just wait. It'll be worth the wait. Okay, we just I just want to find... Because it, it targets all enemies, so I don't want to use it on just one enemy. Uh, but you only need Eric to be pepped up for that. You don't need both of them. Alright, let's try this here. 
Oh, this will be perfect. A whole group of she slimes. Uh, and do your jays. Well, there's still three of them. Okay, here we go. Scorched Earth. Okay, so it lowers their resistance to fire and earth. I believe that's like a 20% resistance. And then, like, at the start of each of their turns, they're gonna take, uh... <laughs> they're gonna get impaled from below. Another that is awesome. The dust. That is a really good, uh... pep up power. I'm a fan. And we go through this little narrow passage, and we come out here to this giant area... We're uh, we're gonna we're gonna end things off here. We'll make our way to the next uh, city. I take a glimpse here. You see, there's a little uh, there's a little thing in the distance. I'm like putting my mouse cursor over it. There's no way you're not seeing the mouse cursor. 